Travis, Love Will Come Through on XFM 104.9, Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington, etc. Got some uh, great tunes actually lined up. Excellent. I've brought in uh, some Amy Mann, some uh, uh, Neil Young. I'm playing my favourite Clash track. What, are you, what have you got for us, Steve? I've got a dynamite uh, hip hop tune by yeah. The Roots, which I think you'll enjoy. Love it, um, love it. Got a little bit of uh, Joni Mitchell, maybe swing that on later. Oh, and, excellent. Um, I nearly brought in some Joni Mitchell. It's a good job I didn't. Yeah, exactly. Well, it wouldn't have made, sure made any difference. No, you, we, we, you we would have played, probably played yeah. yours and then yeah. I'd have been Fine. told to. Gooey. Gooey. Uh, Carl, what have you got lined up for us as the producer? <laughs> right, well, uh, uh, Rockbusters. Been Excellent. off this week again. Has he? Yeah. He's another had, week off? Another week off, yeah. 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 No, I didn't have a full week off. I had three days off yeah. because I was working all over Christmas. Yeah. And, uh, still didn't stop working, preparing stuff. <laughs> You've got a nice load of prizes there that yeah, I've sorted out. I had to come yeah. in especially to sort that out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Rockbusters. Did you rifle continue. through the drawers up at Capital Gold instead of Daily? Yeah. 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 Uh, Rockbusters were still doing that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that, that. Yeah, you're bigging it up. Yeah. He's bigging <laughs> it up. Yeah. Still doing that. We've yeah. got that. Uh, last week, um, we sort of changed educating Ricky a bit. Um, just a little don't bit. say we. I don't want to be incriminated in it. Well, yeah. well, changed it in a sense that rather than giving you too much information about different things, it's hard to sort of keep it all in. Yeah. I'm giving you sort of information on one thing. So yeah. last, last no, week. No, because some of your stuff was a little bit too intense. We done. Uh, my favourite story was there was a blind girl. She hit her head and got better, and I couldn't take all that in at once. <laughs> yeah. So you should really ration well, some we, of the we education. Sort of, we sort of started Wasn't last week um, war related uh, stories. Yeah, it was uh, war. Do you think of that then? War, and do it you think was of that three then? things. And it was the French um, battle. Uh, going over the top was John's got a moustache, <laughs> which you think was ambiguous because someone might have said that anyway. Well, look, you've remembered it, so it's working. So yeah. we'll be doing that. And, and last week, loads you of said French people have just gone to war. Who were well, listening to this? Yeah. You uh, you said you wanted to learn some science this week. Did so, I? Yeah. <laughs> so so the title this week for that is Acid. I would sort you some science out. <laughs> Acid. Acid, How long did that take you to call? Listen, <laughs> but you know, um, look, people people love Carl. There's comedians coming to me and go, Carl's the funniest man. They, they absolutely yeah. love him, right? But I think we're only seeing half of it, right? Mm. Uh, if we can get him on television, his face then, when he's told me that title, was like a child at Christmas. Yeah. It was, it was, he was so proud of it. Yeah. He was excited what I was gonna, it was brilliant. It's a bit like when a child's drawn a picture in art class. You've, you know you've got to stick it on the fridge. You've got but to, you basically yeah. think it's crap. Yeah. Yeah. It's very much like that. All right, Carl? Is that good? Yes. So, we'll be doing that. Do we need them? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Have you got another one? We have got another one. Looking at, uh, Snails. Oh, yeah. Do we need snails? Do we okay, need snails? I know you're not a fan of snails, are you? Well, after a bit of research, I found some good stuff out about, um, like, they sleep for 13 years, some of them. Yeah. And that. So we'll be looking <laughs> Rick, into that you later. that one. <laughs> 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 yeah, I know, We've got Ritual. Ritual. Yeah. Yeah. Which is something that I told last, you about. Yeah, well, last week's was brilliant. What it's was good it? to have a flat head in India. <laughs> it's good to have a flat head in India. That's I've brilliant. <laughs> Yeah. Um, well, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna just play one of my favourite Smith tracks. Can I just uh, make a request? So I'd quite like if, you know, if you've got time to bring back, um, just for one week only, White Van Carl. Sure. Because there's some quite interesting topics this week. Oh, is there things happening in the world? There's some Carl's things happening. happening there, there is. <laughs> no. There is a light that never goes out. <laughs> Someone's left one of those little things in here. It's brilliant, isn't it's it? It's amazing. What, what are they called, those things? <laughs> I just, I imagine that, just then I was thinking of being in the front row at a Morrissey concert and going, oh, oh just, can I just play along? <laughs> 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 they are brilliant. I uh, don't know what kind of sound that is. I don't know. I, it's only used for when Kenneth Williams <laughs> yeah, exactly. sees someone <laughs> undressing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's the only time that yeah. is used, that noise. <laughs> that is brilliant. But it's like it was specially created for the Carry On films. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we need- I don't know what it is, but we need something when I walk in and see someone changing. Well, what about this? <laughs> there is a light that never goes out by the Smiths. Um, I phoned, uh, Carl up in the week, yeah, and, uh, I said, uh, what are you doing? He went, well, even though it's one of my days off, I'm just doing some research on the web. Went, found anything and said, yeah, I'm doing science. And then he said, you can get wigs for dogs in Tokyo. <laughs> That's his scientific fact. Yeah. And I went, 
What do you mean? You, 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 dogs, if they need a wig? I said, if they need a wig, what? Dogs going <laughs> bald? And he went, like, this is fine to him, he went, it's a stressful city, Tokyo. <laughs> the world's all right with Carl. He's always got an explanation. <laughs> I've only ever seen him confused once. When, in Edinburgh, he looked out of his window one day and he saw a bloke putting a parking ticket on some rubbish. Yeah. And that genuinely confused him. Yeah. He couldn't work out, could you? It's a bit weird, isn't it? <laughs> but, <laughs> and the baby, and the woman breastfeeding her eight-year-old child, didn't, you didn't like, did you? I don't like that. But, um, the what's the name? Animals with wigs. I kind of thought, after I put the phone down to you, I kind of <laughs> thought about it, thought, yeah, it's a bit daft, that. Are you sure it's not the, the aging pop group? No. The but, animals. But when you think, have you ever seen, like, a bald pet? No. The, the, it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Because my mum, um, we had a cat, we used to get through loads of cats because we lived in a- <laughs> Oh, God, it's starting early today, isn't it? What do you mean? It's only ten past one. What are you doing? What are you doing? We're in a restaurant. We lived on- <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God, what do you mean? No, we lived on like a main road. Oh, yeah. Right? So yeah. we used to get through a lot of them. Dad it was their saying, risk. You know, stop wasting money, you know, it's, it's not- Stop good. wasting money, not wasting yeah. cats! Right, so, um, anyway, we had this cat that was ill all the time. Mm. And, uh, it's just bag of noodles, probably. <laughs> yeah, Melingra. <laughs> yeah, I'm terrified. I'm going to witch house. Wrong. Oh God, bloody hell. Wrong. Don't, so, don't let me go to the Pilkington. <laughs> <laughs> and it, 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 for some reason, it kept being sick all the time. Right? Yeah, <laughs> that is nice. That's definitely nice. So my mum sort of kind of thought, oh, I've had enough of this, and she yeah. shaved it. What? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> whoa! Whoa! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Now, I know, I know you're not vets in your family, but what correlation did your mum think there was between you being sick and shaving it? Because it kept being sick and it was a pain to wash because it kept getting So caught. she wanted a dry wipe cat. So. <laughs> Why didn't she just varnish it? <laughs> <laughs> what? It's weird, it's but, weird so, so, now, so now he's cold and sick. No, but do you, no, not, I mean, not all of it, she left sort of the back half, but sort of from, from its waist, sort of- I it, love that! Shaving because it's sick on itself! Yeah. And, that uh, is it, it was the weirdest looking thing. I mean, no, normally I like cats, I'm always like giving yours a stroke on the head and that. Yeah. As soon as she did that, it was like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Can't <laughs> touch it. And then- So now it's sick, cold, and hated. Yeah. I love- I-, I Carl. It must have, I mean, other, the other cats must have been taking the mick out of it constantly. It's just making things worse. Did it get, I'm hoping that it got run over and was put out of its misery. No, I think it, I think it got alright, that one. Or is that the, <laughs> yeah, it did get run over. <laughs> <laughs> did, it, ah! Yeah. Oh, God! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> How many cats do you say you've got through? I'd say when I, whilst I was living at home, I mean, it's, it's still on the increase even though I'm not there. <laughs> so, uh, whilst, whilst I was there, probably five. Oh, God. Oh. Yeah. And were you upset each time or you just got used to it? It's, it's one of them things, isn't it? Like I've said before, when you first see something, it's a bit of a shock. Do you know mm. what I mean? It's like the elephant man or whatever. Yeah. First time you see him, it's that sort of, oh, look at that. Yeah. Do you remember the first time you saw Steve? No, I'm not being funny. Do you remember the, 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 the first? Yeah, but I've said this before, it's always, then you get used to how people look and you don't- <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Yeah, I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna, you have to play a record. No, but- Cause I- Steve's <laughs> face! No, but I've got used to it. Shut up. Shut up. Let you down. Gold Rush on XFM 104.9, Ricky Gervais. Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. Brilliant. Rick, so I was in, uh, uh, I don't know whether I should tell you this because it might rock you to the very core. Go on. But I was in an Indian restaurant the other night and, uh, I don't, you've not seen the film, have you seen the film Notting Hill? I haven't, no. Right, in the film Notting Hill, have you seen that, Carl? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Do you remember the bit, uh, Julia Roberts plays uh, a movie star, rather like She's Julia the Roberts. most famous, yeah. yeah I know and she's that. in a restaurant having dinner with, uh, uh, Hugh Grant and she overhears some people in the restaurant slagging her off and saying, oh, you know, yeah. she's a slapper, probably all actors are, all actresses are. And uh, she's sort of stewing on it, and uh, Hugh Grant wants to say something, and she says, "No, I won't. I won't let you." And and then as she's walking out, she goes and says something to them, and of course their faces drop. They can't believe it's her. Anyway, I was in uh, in an uh, Indian restaurant the other night, and they were slagging you off, Rick. Mm. Well, they were what they were saying is they were going, "Oh, Ricky Jones. The thing about Ricky Jones is he's just like the character he plays. Right. He's just like David Brent in real life." And I was listening in, and I was thinking, "Well, I want to say something. 
I want to go over and have a word and say, you know, you're, you're partially right. <laughs> but, uh, but I couldn't, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know, I didn't know what to say. I, I couldn't, what can I do? I couldn't really go over there and get into a rumble. I want to say, what do you mean that I'm yeah. like him? I, I use his face and his vocal cords, mm. but I mean, I, I can't help that. Uh, but it's uh, that thing as well of, I don't know where they've got this information from. But, uh, no, 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 no. Because no, you're no, not, it's, it's so they're wrong. Well, it's, so it's, 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 yeah, they've received it from somewhere, or they've, they've read it, or something. It's, it's just, I, I, but I don't know, I mean, I can't really be annoyed that they're just wrong. But it it's, was very it's, weird. It's like, it, it's like being annoyed at a vicar believing in God. I can't get annoyed with him. Mm. I just don't believe. But because obviously they didn't recognise me, it's rather like you know when they talk about that idea that if you could go to your funeral, what would people yeah. be saying about you? It's yeah. the closest that you could get to that. Well, you, that you you can hear what people are saying about your friends. But why don't you um to g get around to the go you go he is yeah. What do you think of the other fella? Sometimes <laughs> with him. Yeah. That tall fella, he's good, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. I know. Yeah. It's, it's a shame actually because um. On the occasions I do get recognised from minor appearances, um, I'd never get any cool fans. I just get the nerds. I get the real nerdlingers. I don't get, you know, <laughs> beautiful women coming out. You're putting out. them off though. Putting them off. You've got to take what you can. Well. Don't, but you'll have nothing. No, I know, but this girl came up the other day and she said to, hey, are you that guy who's involved with the office? I went, oh, yes I am. She went, my boyfriend loves you. He's over here. And she pointed him out. I was oh. devastated. I thought, I'm in here. Yeah. There was nothing. There was nothing going on. But there was a guy who was in HMV, and he was working with the tea. He'd been working with the till, and he saw me. He said, uh, would you sign this DVD? I went, oh, no problem. He, I said, and I was trying to make conversation. I was trying to be frothy. And I said to him, oh, selling well, is it? And he yeah. went, it is, it is. Although we've had quite a lot of returns. <laughs> I said, well, don't tell me that. I don't know that. What did he mean? That they didn't like and it? I said, I said, what? You, people have been bringing no, it back. No, I think it's he went, glitches. He, went, oh, he said, they've been bringing it back. I said, what was the problem? He said, they didn't really like it. No! Yeah, they, some of them didn't really like it. You can give it back if you don't like yeah, it. No, I mean, I don't know whether they gave him the money back, but certainly that's what he dealt with. That's what he'd encountered. And then I he mean, said, we didn't give the money back, they just wanted to drop it off. What, they didn't even <laughs> want the money yeah, back? Yeah, they just wanted to get rid of it. <laughs> yeah, they didn't, they just didn't want it in the house. It's like, yeah. <laughs> I don't want this rubbish in their house. <laughs> oh, but we still get the money for it, do we? We still get the money. But Brilliant. do you know that I told you that other Brilliant. time? Again, because I'm, pe people don't recognise me, again I was in a record shop, there was a stack of office videos, and this guy went by, and I sort of heard them as they went by, he went, oh, office, yeah, a lot of people, uh, a lot of people like that. I think it's shit, he's mate when I agree. Really? And, then, and of course again, I was like, what could I do? I couldn't say anything, I couldn't pipe up and go, well that's sort of... Well, I, I, like the, I like these, the fact that you're always hearing these loud vocals. Yeah. It, uh, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah it's it's, what's the chance of that? Two feet? That's brilliant. Maybe, well, that, maybe everyone's always slagging it off. But it's part that's of it. Yeah, that's part of it, but also <laughs> because I keep stand, hanging out by stacks of office <laughs> DVDs. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Wearing a t-shirt with a picture of you and me on it. <laughs> yeah, that'd do it. What we got to play, Carl? Something Steve wants. Well actually, um, I must uh, dedicate this to uh, someone who's emailed in. I mentioned earlier that I was going to play some of the Roots, and Joe from Peterborough is very excited about that. So, uh, this is not from the current Roots album, sadly, which I've not fully absorbed yet, and therefore don't feel I can make a decision on which track to play, but maybe that'll come that's a, a sort of sometime in the future. and thought we put into our... You know, picking music. Exactly. I had these cassettes in my bag from last week. <laughs> sure. Anyway, this is from the album Things Fall Apart. It's The Roots featuring Erica Badu. You got me. Let's play it. Featuring Erica Badu, that's The Roots and You Got Me. Good. I like that one. Yeah. You've enjoyed that? Yeah. I love it, yeah. Well, it's, uh, it's coming up to 1.30. And so it's time for Rockbusters. It's a structured <laughs> show, it's a new leaf. This show in the new year is going to be structured. Set pieces, um, hitting our marks, do you know what I mean? There'll be time checks, uh, uh, weather checks, <laughs> a bit cold out. Um, if, you, if, you, if you're driving, careful on that. <laughs> so do the prizes. More check for traffic, like yeah, if it's bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well again, an arbitrary selection of uh, goodies. What are those politicians doing? <laughs> Was that XFM News? <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> right, what have we got? So we've got, uh, for those that are a fan of the movie Donnie Darko, which a lot of people rave about this year, a sort of weird teenage movie, then uh, there's a sort of uh, sweatshirt there. It is actually quite nice. It's not bad at all. It's, uh, it's medium, so if, you, if you're a bit of a bloater, mm. don't bother to apply unless you've got a friend already. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, we've also got here um, a Graham Norton video. Certificate 18. Oh, <laughs> so, it, please don't phone up unless, or, d sorry, don't email in unless you're above the age of 18. Yeah. Um, and that's, I think, the best of his TV show. Yeah. Look forward to that. 
Um, it's a big stiff video, that, isn't it? It's a big stiff <laughs> cock of a video. <laughs> Thanks oh, very much. I meant you the- can't say, yeah, yeah, you meant the brood. Yeah. Um, there's also a fairly mediocre British wartime thriller, Enigma, um, which a lot of people, it was hyped for a while, but it's actually interminable, I've seen it. <laughs> um, the, uh, first series here of The Kumars at number 42 on DVD, uh, I think that's award winning, so, uh, that's available as well. We've got two CDs by the look of it. We've got, uh, Pulp's Greatest Hits, which I don't think sold very well, and so presumably they are giving that away. <laughs> <laughs> and Johnny Cash's um, current uh, album, uh, American For The Man Comes Around, there's some good cover versions there. Again, another big sell. A big yeah. sell. We're really pushing um, this. But it, it, yeah, it's a quite kooky. Uh, Johnny Cash here does covers of things including Personal Jesus. Oh, right. By Depeche Mode. Right, yeah. uh, we've got Bridge Over Troubled Water, his version of that. <laughs> Desperado. <laughs> and uh, anyway, it's, it's not bad. That's probably the best treat in that bunch. And, right. Uh, I'm assuming there's some questions there, Carl. Yeah, yeah. Right, here we uh, go. If you're a new listener, the way it works, I'll give you a cryptic clue. And some initials, wow. and it sort of makes up a band. Yeah. Um, makes more sense when you hear it, I reckon. Not particularly. Well, not really. Although so, people do get it. I yeah. just worry about the, the state of our listeners. <laughs> Go on. Right, so there's three of them. You email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. It's email one. only. Email I repeat, only. it is email only. We Can have that easy <laughs> to <be laughs> answer the phone? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, right. here we go then. Number one. Um, there's, there's normally two easy ones and a difficult one. Sure. So here we go. Uh, number one. Don't argue with him, he ain't gonna change his mind. Don't argue with him, he ain't gonna change his mind. Yeah, that's AA. AA. That's, yeah. So Stop that's the first one. He's not gonna change his mind. Um. What do you mean, um? You just, just, just got them written out, have yeah, you? Yeah, I'm just thinking about what the answer is, so they don't write the answer down to Oh, this for God. Don't <laughs> worry, they get it. <laughs> Yeah, don't well, worry. Um, what do you, yeah. well, you can't remember it. You came up with it. There's only three. I know, I know. It's weird, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's not weird. It's incompetent. <laughs> right, the second one, anyway. I, I hope you get this. Um, <laughs> I hope you get <laughs> this. <laughs> you know, and tell us the answer. This is a shambles, isn't Hang it? On a Come minute. on, keep going. Go keep on. on. He always gets what he wants and doesn't worry about anyone else. P. <laughs> and you don't know You don't know that is? It'll, I'm sure it'll come to me once I see it on email. If, uh, what do you mean? It. Once they get it, you'll agree with them? I'll know if it's the one I had down as the answer. This is brilliant. Come Imagine on, Imagine Jeremy Paxman doing that, going, Yeah, University what, Times. Is that right? <laughs> Go on. Right, so, uh, that's give that us, one. Give us that one again. Um, he always gets what he wants and doesn't worry about anyone else. P. But you're confused. I don't understand how you can be confused. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, right, what's the, the final third, one? The third one, uh, oh. I'll have to put that woman in the oven. And that's A, B. All right, quickly give us them again. Right, so the first one, don't argue with him, he ain't, he ain't gonna change his mind. That's AA. Um, he always gets what he wants and doesn't worry about anyone else. That's P. And, um, I'll have to put that woman in the oven. AB. All right. Okay. Ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. I'm gonna play a classic track now by oh, uh, Neil Young, Alabama. It's oh, beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> Neil Young, Alabama. Uh, Carl is still confused. He's waiting. He's biting his fingers, waiting for an email to tell him the answer to the clue he made up but can't get. <laughs> I love that as an experiment. <laughs> as a psych- I mean, that would confuse psychologists that you come up with something that you can't get. It's brilliant. Yeah, you came up with the question. You don't know the answer. And you expect them to, but you can't and you made it up. Look at your face, I can feel- play some adverts. Honestly, Juan, by, uh, Billy Corgan's new band there, um, X Smashing Pumpkins, mm -hmm. sounds a bit like them, but yeah. I like it. It's alright, not bad. I like yeah, it. Yeah. I we like would to know, Rick, incidentally, that someone's got the right answer, so, uh, Carl really knows the answer, yeah. Brilliant. Well done, Carl. <laughs> You're a fool. <laughs> right. Well, um, talking of which, <laughs> it's a long time since we've had any white van Carl. For those that uh, don't remember this particular hot feature, um, yeah. we basically ask Carl some of the questions that are asked of a white van driver in the sun. They always have this on Saturday afternoons. Anyway, here's the first one. Uh, they're not fascinating, Carl, but I'm just interested on your take, really. Yeah. What do you make of Scylla Black quitting Blind Date after her husband sent a message from beyond the grave? Are you familiar know, with the story? I didn't know that. What's, yeah. what's that? She went to see a medium 
and uh, supposedly her husband passed on information through the medium, which was incredibly vague, but um, persuaded her to quit live on air. Well, it's about it's about time, isn't it? If even dead people are saying, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm not enough. <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh, but I'll tell you what, though, talking genius. about talking about ghosts and that. Do you know how I'm into them? Yeah. yeah. Right. How weird do you think this is? Right. Well, it's not true. Before you say it, <laughs> play a record. No, go on, go on. Uh, <laughs> go on. Right. It's this woman. <clears throat> oh. I don't even know if it's ghost really. It's just a bit weird. Sure. Yeah. Right? Sure. There's this woman, yeah. and she's well, she's not a woman. She's a kid. Sure. <laughs> Okay. Sure. She's, she's walking down like a, a street in her area. It's a nice day and everything. Everything's normal. Um, she's walking down and a woman comes up cycling past, right? The woman on the bike looks at the kid absolutely terrified, right? right. Got a really scary face on her. Yeah. The kid's thinking, why, why is she doing that? Yeah. Right? So anyway, she thinks nothing, nothing of it. Goes, you know, I think she was playing in the park or whatever. Goes and has a nice day. About 15 years later. Oh, right, yeah. She's, I don't know, I think she was going to work, right, on a bike. She's riding her own bike. Riding okay. her own bike, cycling down the road. Oh, yeah. Looks at the kid. That's the thing that happened, like, 15, 20 years ago. Right. It's her on the bike looking at her as a kid. Right. Not, not, not another child. No. So right. it's her, she's seen well, herself. Uh, what, Carl? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know where to start. Firstly, where does this information come from? But I mean, wh why do you ever? Con I mean, I don't know what part of that you think can be true. I I don't. I I'm honest. I'm oh, I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's a bit weird, though, isn't it? But it's not true. It didn't happen. Nothing happened like that. She said it did. Well, Who? she's wrong. Who? She said she saw herself. She saw herself as a kid, didn't she? Did she carry and, uh, on riding And her? as an adult when she was a kid. <laughs> did she stop and talk to herself, or did she ride on by and think, that's a bit weird, there's me as an eight-year-old. I won't stop, I'll be late for work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, if I'm late again, the boss said he'd be in trouble. Yeah. Oh. Well, and funny. where is this information? Was it, did it happen to someone you know? No. You overheard it on the bus? No, it was in, uh, it's in the 14 times. Ah, oh, right. Well, uh, okay. that's the answer. Good. We've okay. got to the bottom of that. Right, good. Um, <laughs> brilliant. Now, what do you make of David Blunkett accusing gangster rappers of making kids believe guns are cool? It's a hot topic there, Carl, and I imagine you've got some, uh, strong opinions. He's, he's saying what? He is saying, basically, that all this rap music is, uh, advocating gun use and violence against people, and he's very worried about it. Nah. Okay. All right. <laughs> Next one. <laughs> Have you thought about going into politics? Because <laughs> I'll on. tell you this: they wouldn't be able to argue with you, really, in the houses of parliament. Uh, no, wh where would they start? Yeah, my <laughs> fellow is an idiot. <laughs> yeah. No, but uh, violence has always been about, and it like cowboys and Indians. They didn't have PlayStations and Tupac then, and there was still violence. What do you mean in the Wild West? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So you can't really blame it on stuff. It, it'll always happen. That's you know that's the world, and it? it's made up of different types and that. Again, he's right. Again, he's, he's sort of right in a way, in his in his innocence, in his buffoonery. I didn't hear what he's, he said. He just said there's always been violence. You know what I mean? It's sort Even, of like you know dinosaurs. Look at them. They they caused a lot. And of then trouble. he went too far and made himself yeah. <laughs> sound no, like a fool again. But I'm just saying, it's always happened. It always will. Yeah. Don't you know? Don't try and change it. Yeah. yeah. Just chill out is what you're saying. Do you know? Uh, do you know what we should do? We should, we should all get on our bike, go and find ourselves when we're <laughs> little and go, be careful what you do in life. <laughs> Oasis, Supersonic, still good. Still as good as ever. Still good on XFM 104.9 with Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. You'll be pleased, Rick. Go on. Ricky Anderson has uh, emailed in. Dickers! Dickers, Danderson. Oh, yeah, what are you doing, uh, Dindo? He, he's, uh, he's probably our uh, biggest fan. Diddler, you little diddler. <laughs> exactly. He has emailed in, as ever. Ricky, your show fascinates me. How do you maintain such levels of senseless drivel? <laughs> That's from, uh, from Randers, from Randy Anders. Little diddle dummers! <laughs> Oh. <laughs> so, uh, thanks again, uh, um, Dudley. Yeah. Uh, well done. He's, uh, yeah, that's great. Uh, nice I stuff, get a eh? buzz. I, I, I was disappointed last week where he didn't, what, what ask him why he's, uh, didn't email Did, he didn't, last... He didn't respond last week. No, it's a shame. Probably man. busy. Mm. I don't believe he had something better to do. 
Well, I wouldn't have thought so. I can't believe that of anyone. <laughs> when uh, <laughs> you've got Saturday this sort afternoon. of level. Exactly. Uh, intense chat. What have you done this uh, week, Carl? Well, I've had a, uh, got a few days off, haven't I? Yeah. Still, you know, doing stuff for this show and that, but <laughs> managed to get a few really. hours in. Yeah, uh, not really. Just, just doing, doing nothing and, uh, bought a place. I was, I was looking at kitchens. Yeah. Weighing some of them up. And, yeah. uh. Checking them out. Checking them out. And, uh, also ordered a sofa. Yeah. Nice sort of comfy sort of le- leatherish mm-hmm. sofa. Oh, a leatherish. Oh, I don't, I don't like leather sofas. I don't, no, I don't, but, yeah, but what are you picturing? A leather um, sofa. A leather sofa. Yeah, I just like, I, it's squeaky and it's... No, uh, this it's, isn't. This isn't, isn't it? No, this isn't like that. But I want, I want a really old, sinky, yeah. dent of fabric. I want, I want a sofa that is as comfortable as a bed. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Well, if it was acceptable, you'd have a bed in your lounge, wouldn't you? <laughs> If that was allowed, yeah. without seeming <laughs> like you were sort of, like, elderly, or That would be just... good. And I'd have, I'd have a drip going in, yeah. sort of like with nutrients, you know, I, I can't be bothered to chew. No, no you can't, lager, yeah. Sort of lager with, sort of, uh, uh vitamins. Vitamins. And then, in, yeah. and then one going from the knob down to the toilet. To the lower toilet, uh, yeah. And with all the remote controls, and mm. I, uh, that would be amazing. To be fair, you're almost there, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> I've yeah. certainly seen the toilet tubing, <laughs> and I've been around <laughs> in the past. My dad's bed, right, my dad would never change his chair. My mum would try and get rid of it, because it, it would just fit to him and it'd just be absolutely dilapidated, right? And what, he's like, he's got, he had like his own chair in the lane. Yeah, his yeah. own chair, right. And then, uh, uh, and his bed, right, when, uh, they had separate rooms towards the end, um, and his bed, right, it was just, it had it for years, and it was a big dip. It really? was just like a spoon in the middle where it's just, it was concaved. Where it's like, wow. And my mum <laughs> used to just vacuum it out. Oh! Well, the little bits of like, you know, he'd have a fag in bed or he'd do his roll ups in bed. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> Oh, that's he said to him, what, why do you like that bed? It's curved, you, you, you know, he goes, he goes, it means I can't fall out. <laughs> <laughs> the idea that it was like in a hammock. That's great. That can't have been good for his back. Well, I don't think it mattered towards the end. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, a, a hammock would be, I, I, I really yeah. would love a, a hammock. I think a big bean bag would be good, wouldn't it? With a telly. A, be- a bean bag as big as a bed would be amazing. Yeah, but this is still the telly thing, because uh, do you, Prop yourself up a little bit to watch it. Do you watch it on the side, which is annoying? Do you turn the telly on the side? That's always- I've always wondered about that. The weird- the weird thing is, right, do you know, I've mentioned before about certain things that are just right, like, your hand, five fingers is- is just enough, <laughs> right? One more- The sex tips. It ruins stuff. Yeah, well, one less. One less than you, you know, saying about drying your pots and that, it'd be really slippery and that. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and the weird thing is, right, I think bed, that's nat- what nature had in- in his <laughs> mind. No, but yeah. like, like, um, my mum and dad, right, they moved to this little, like, little house, right, and, um, they had loads of furniture that they collected over the years without chucking out, and they've moved to this small house, so they just had s- too much furniture, right? Mm. And, uh, they had this double bed, and that was for, like, you know, when friends come round and that, they can stay there. But the problem was, he wanted to sort of put these wardrobes in the bedroom, right? Right. That went on either side of the bed. Sort of wrapped but, around because, the bed, yeah. yeah. but because the, s- the room was so small, he thought, I can sort that out. Yeah. Right? And he sawed the bed. He sawed the bed? He sawed the whole thing, so you've got, like, your mattress, your bed, and everything. And what, he just sliced some off? Like a big uh, sandwich, just c- cut just, a bit off Just cut, cut the crust about, off. About how much is that, would you say? About eight inches, six about inches. eight inches. But hold on, but that well, won't work. Because it'll all fall out the side, and then what happened to the springs and all the supports and stuff? He it sorted just it out. It didn't, it didn't all come out and that. I mean, it's not the comfiest bed. <laughs> but but the weird thing is, he did it, and even though it's only like that eight inches or whatever, it totally ruined it. It's yeah. Like, well, of course it would. No, but what do you think I mean? I don't mean it ruined it as in it looks a mess. No, it would have been uncomfortable. Not even that though. Just the fact it's that little bit shorter. It's like, God, for two people, this is this is hard work now. This is like you haven't got enough room, even though it's only eight inches. Why did he, why did he build the wardrobes first without <laughs> measuring, putting the... I think he did all that and then thought, oh, it'll easily fit in there and it didn't, so he had to sort of saw a bit off the bed. <laughs> but it's just weird how only eight did inches... Did he use an electric, one of those electric saws? Yeah. And That's there was amazing. just, presumably there was just kind of what sort of material it? and wood just flying everywhere. What did he do oh, with the legs? Did he have to move the legs in moved, a bit? He moved the legs. Looking at it, right, once it's got like the, the quilt on it and everything, you wouldn't know. I was sure. like, yeah, that's alright, you've done a good job. Yeah. And I went to bed at night, he's like, you know, sleep well, got up in the morning after having about 45 minutes sleep and said, something not right with that. Yeah. 
He you goes, really oh, you are your father's son, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> this isn't right, not right with that. Right. And he said, oh, well, I said, what have you done? It doesn't seem the same. And he said, oh, I had to shorten it, sort of thing, you mm. know, to fit in the gap. I said, well, I can't sleep in it. I said, and there was a big kerfuffle. My man was saying, look, you have our bed then, and we'll sleep in that one. Mm. And my dad was like, sod that. Yeah. Yeah, it's ruined. <laughs> you know. <laughs> some, some idiot cut it. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, there was a big debate going on about where we should sleep, and I was saying, look, you know, I only come and see you, like, every couple of, you know, probably once can every I, six can, months. I'm not being funny, but next time we go home, can I film it? Mm. Just for, I mean, Channel 4 or something. Well, uh, you know, I mean, the Osbournes is not on at the moment. The yeah, Pilkingtons. Uh, uh, that would be extraordinary. Oh, oh. Can we film it? Ho 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 That's brilliant. Is there anyone from Channel 5 listening to this show? Or Bravo? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Pilkingtons. Weird though. Weird. Play a record? Or do you wanna play? Do you wanna play, uh, do you fancy playing something of yours? Uh, what, have we got anything? I don't know, something that was sent in to you maybe? Oh yeah, no, I'll tell you, yeah, I'd like to play this. Yeah, Bronze Age Fox. Uh, band from Bristol, my neck of the woods. Always uh, working, the Kyle, the always working, he's always tunes. working, he's on the ball, he's on the ball, he's on the bobby ball. Coldplay, the scientist, X-Men 104.9, I'm Ricky Gervais, with Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkers, and Carl, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I wish that's how you spoke. <laughs> <laughs> right, what are you doing then? Let's uh, have a quick uh, reprise, if we could, of the uh, of the Rockbusters clues. Yeah, Rockbusters. If you just tuned in, you've missed it this week. Uh, it's your three well, no, you clues. haven't. That's why we're giving the clues again. Yeah, I know, but if they haven't, hey, what? Yeah, say if they've been busy. Just, just give the clues again. <laughs> um, oh first one, God! Um, don't argue with him because he, he isn't going to change his mind. That's AA. <coughs> Second one, um, he always gets what he uh, he always gets what he wants and doesn't worry about anyone else. That's P, yeah. And the third and final one, oh, I might have to put that woman in the oven. A, B. Interesting. Are we telling him or still- No, 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 no yeah. people have still got a chance to win those extraordinary prizes. Ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. We've still got only. features to come though, Steve. It's incredible. We've still got Ritual. Where, <laughs> remember last time? People in India, it's good to have a flat head. <laughs> yeah. We've got Do We Need em? I've got That's Ridiculous. That's a great game. What should we do next? What should we do next? It's too much. We, uh, get, do we need them out of the way? Let's get, do we need them out of the way? Yeah, just, uh, let's, again, uh, let's explain it again. If you're new, um, I'm sort of on a bit of a mission to find out, you know, we've got a lot of animals and insects in the world and stuff. Yeah. Um, do we need them all? <laughs> <laughs> it still amuses me. <laughs> so we've found out we've got to keep jellyfish. We've done octopus. Just yeah. said we've got to keep them. This week, snails. Do we need them? Just doing some research, uh -huh. right? Um, I'm sort of working my way through different creatures and insects and stuff that's on the planet. Yeah. Right? Um, and finding out if we need them or not, right? Yeah. Do you know much about snails? Um, sea snails? Well, yeah. So snails in general. Um, I don't know much about snails, land snails, I know a bit about sea snails, like whelks, top shells, that sort of thing. Would you say they're important? Uh, what sort of sense do you mean by important? Say if we had to sort of get rid of some animals and insects and that, because we're running out of room. Right. Do you know what I mean? Because I'll tell you what I know about some snails. I don't know if this applies to sea snails as well. I mean, I called you today because a lot of other places are shut. Yeah. Right? So, um... I know, um, they like to eat stamps, apparently. They glue on stamps. They right. love it, right? Right. Um, apparently a lot of, um, letters and stuff aren't getting to where they're meant to be getting because snails are crawling into letter boxes and eating right. the stamps. That obviously doesn't apply to the sea ones, mm. but that, that's a problem they're causing. Oh, right. Uh, are you, were you aware of that? No, well, I didn't know that. you glad you answered the phone today. Right. They love beer. Beer, yeah, who doesn't? And also, I don't know if this is right, but I heard that they sleep for 13 years, or can do. Right, I've, I wouldn't know if they can sleep for 13 years or not, but... I mean, sea snails are pretty important, yeah, they're, they're, they do quite a good job in the sea, they have, um, graze on algae, and they? But, they but provide food for other, other animals. I mean, you can say that about any fish, you know, or any animal, why do they, why do they exist? Would, would you be know. upset if, you know, someone said... We're getting rid of them. Oh yeah, yeah. You would they're, be. They're an animal, you know. I wouldn't. 
forget being like favouritism and all that I get for them, right? There'll yeah. be other things knocking around you can sort of spend your time looking after. You'll still have a job, don't be worrying about that, because I'm not going to get rid of all the fish. Jellyfish need looking after, so you're safe. Yeah. But do we need them? Come on, there's loads of people saying, come on, we've got to move on through the animals, and you're holding them up saying, well, I, I want to keep them. Well, who's, who's saying we need to... That just sounds a bit, just sounds a bit crazy to me. Just, just imagine. Do you know what I mean? And, and they would come to you because you work in an aquarium, so they'd, they'd be asking for your advice. Right. And you're slowing it down. Well, they asked for my advice and I'm giving it to them, so, you know, that's what I think, anyway. Yeah, but snails, you know, I mean, like yeah. I say, they, they drink beer and that, you know. What do, what do they do apart from uh, some food for a, for a whelk? They were, they were around, their uh, descendants were around a lot longer, uh, longer than we have been. Yeah, they've been around a long time, but what have they done? Well, they survived that long, so they must be doing something pretty good. Well, apparently they sleep for 13 years, so really, even though they've been around for ages... I don't, I don't, I don't think that sounds a bit... I don't think they sleep for 13 years. Not all, I mean, not all of them, just, just, the, just the tired ones. So, snails, do we need them? Well, yeah, I just think they've got a... This is, you know, it's not for us to say, do we need them or not, we can't just... So, so you think we should keep them? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Carl, 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 I'm proud of you. That he was, was getting really quite annoying. I know. <laughs> what, did he, what did he think he was doing? What? what does, I don't know what you tell these people. I mean, you don't get their permission to play this out, do you? You well, just don't the me. thing is, right, <laughs> I, yeah, I sort of told him what it was about, but we won't say who he is or where he works, because yeah. it doesn't matter. I just needed to speak so, to someone who knows. <laughs> I know the fact that you were trying to get an answer out of him by suggesting that he would be <laughs> safe, because he could look after jellyfish if he gave the OK to destroy snails. <laughs> he was I, getting livid, you could oh, tell. Oh, God. Brilliant. So they've yeah. been around a long time, but what have they done? <laughs> well, have they done? that was great, Carl. Play a record. <laughs> well, well done. Of, uh, bit of Amy Man. Oh, I'm obsessed with this song, Red Vines. It's, it's brilliant. I love that. Amy Man, Red Vines. XFM 104.9, Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. Um, you mentioned earlier when we had our, um, regular email from, uh, Dickie Anderson. Yeah. Randers, as I call him. Dandy Sam. <laughs> yeah. He, uh, you mentioned that, because we didn't get anything from him last week. We didn't no. get uh, anything from him last week. Anyway, uh, he's obviously listening, um, <laughs> uh, Rich, because he's emailed in to explain, uh, his absence. Dear Ricky, sorry for not tuning in last week, only I was in, uh, HMV returning the 14 copies of The Office I got for Christmas. <laughs> That's, uh... That's from Rounders. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> he's, he's explained himself. Oh, he's dear. He's excused himself. Oh, Anders, we should get him on one day. Yeah. Right, okay, Carl. That's ridiculous. Three amazing scientific facts, one of which is spurious. Okay? Oh. Okay, one. Um, girls can't throw because the part of their brain that allow men to throw properly in a girl is used up in emotion. Two. Gravity isn't instantaneous, it works at the speed of light, the force of gravity. Three, statistically, you're more likely to be trampled by a donkey than dying in a plane crash. Now, even though the last one sounds daft, I think I, I've read that, about the donkey thing. Okay. Um, <coughs> so, girls... What's the first one? The, the Girl, one? Girls can't throw properly because the part of the brain <coughs> that allow men to throw is yeah, used up in emotion yeah, in a woman. Yeah. Gravity in, isn't instantaneous. It, it works at the speed of light. So when you drop something, it, the force kicks in at the speed of light. What do you reckon, Steve? Well, it's well, not for me to say. Is this a trick one where none of them are ridiculous? Or one no, of those, one, of them's, one, one, of one of those three... One of those three is not true. Right, well, it's definitely not the donkey, right? So... Uh, I reckon the, uh, the girl one, throwing stuff. Is ridiculous. Yeah. Correct. Well done. Well Very done. Very well done indeed. Yeah. Very well done indeed. That's two out of two he's got so far. Well, there you yeah. go. Well, yeah. well, I'll teach you some stuff now. <laughs> right? I've, sorry, just say, I've always been fascinated by the, uh, the donkey fact, because it is an extraordinary fact that more people are killed apparently by donkeys yeah. 
Yeah. Than they are by airplane crashes. Well, I suppose in countries where they're used and, yeah. you know, used a lot, that, you know, they, um, they go a bit mad and squash but, it. But my concern is that <coughs> there's, when you go on a plane, there's so many checks. I mean, it takes them 40 minutes to go through all the checks, the air pressure, the cabin pressure, the fuel, yeah. checking the, you know, flights, the takeoff, all the rest of it. Our checks for donkeys. Nothing. Did someone close the gate? I think so. Exactly. That's, yeah. it. that's our. That's is he our annoyed? Checks. Is he annoyed or not? <laughs> yeah. You're not working him too hard, are you? Yeah, yeah. He's got his hand. Is there two? Is there two holes for the ears? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I think that's what's happening. I don't think it's accident. I think they're picking us off. I think they're yeah. so annoyed that a nickname for them is ass. Yeah. And they've got to wear the little hat. You know, they, they get they've got to ride kids. You know, give kids rides on the beach and that. I think they're just sort of annoyed. Yeah. Maybe they're sort of just picking us off one by one. Yeah. Teaching us a lesson. There's not. If we had the same stringent checks <laughs> exactly. on donkeys as we do on intern national flights, maybe exactly. there'd be a little less there. <laughs> exactly. Wise words. <laughs> Cheers. Wise, <laughs> if slightly incoherent <laughs> words. <laughs> Go so, on, Carl. Got that right. Um, so, um, <laughs> acid, I would sort you out with some science. Brilliant. I forgot the puns in mind, didn't I? I forgot the puns. Yeah. Go on. Right, so, um, yeah, you asked to sort of be taught some science and that last week after being taught about war, so, yeah. uh, did some research. <laughs> and, um, there's a few things I think we'll just cover cover one of them now. Go on. Um, we've talked a lot about airy kids. <laughs> <laughs> we have discussed I love that the fact that Simon Sharma has never started a program <laughs> no. like that. Uh, the, the Jacobites. We've talked a lot about hairy kids. <laughs> Go on. It's, it's a little bit, I mean, it's not your traditional science stuff, but sure. it's still well, interesting still. and it's a little bit, you know, it's still Yeah, we've talked about hairy kids. We have, we have disproportionately, honestly. <laughs> yeah. I think this show's talked about hairy kids more than any other radio yeah. show. Well, it's, it's one that- Sorry, I noticed both of you there dropped the H, or the H, or however it's I, pronounced. I had to. So, airy, airy we kids, yeah. hairy, yeah. hairy children, not yeah. Um, yeah. sort of airy, kind of light-headed or- Yeah. Well, there was, there was the case of the, uh, <laughs> the one who lived in China. Yeah. And, uh- Which was weird for two reasons, wasn't it? Yeah. So, well, go on. Uh, one was like, he was covered in air. That's already weird. And yeah. the doctor sort of checked him over and said, well, yeah, he is airy, but he's quite healthy, apart from he had a little bit of eczema <laughs> and a boil. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. that was the main bit of the story, wasn't it? Yeah. But this one, right, we all sort of talked about it, and, uh, you weren't having any of it at the time. What? This, this next bit of science I'm telling you about. Go on, on then. Right? Um, remember when I told you about a lad, he was living at home with his mum and dad, right, everything's, you know, normal life, go out of school, that sort of thing. Yeah. Then, I think his mum and dad had an argument, and it kicked off a bit, and he thought, I'm sick of this. It's happening all the time now, they kept having arguments, so the kid, Ran off into the woods. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Right. God. Now he he left. He went and ran in the woods, and he ended up living with some monkeys. Right. <laughs> right. And he thought this isn't a bad life. You know, there's no arguments going on. Sure. He was getting on with them. Um, <laughs> and the weird <laughs> he loved thing bananas. is, this <laughs> this is where the science bit comes in. Oh, sure. Yeah. He grew a load of air on his body. That's not true. It's not true. It is true. It's an acquired characteristic. It's the, it, 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 <laughs> I bet someone will back me up on this. But th no, no, you can't, you, you can't grow hair like that. You might get a little bit, uh, more downy or they might, uh, the erectile tissue might, uh, you know, they won't fall out as much that would, you know, but you don't actually grow a big mane if well, you're cold and you're a human. Well, he did. He did. This lad did. I know it sounds a bit strange in that, but he, he was living with the monkeys, um, <laughs> and because it was cold, his body reacted listen, to it. Listen, listen. He was no hairier than he would have been if he was walking around naked on a cold day, with or without living with monkeys. The it, fact that he was living with monkeys makes no difference. No, I know, but I'm trying to get, you know, picture it in your head what it's like. Although Mickey Dolenz was always pretty hairy. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, he was living with them, and, um, he went into town or something one day. Oh, yeah. To get some food, <laughs> and the people there were like, hang on a minute, that isn't a monkey. Mm. Um, well, he, went, he went in naked. <laughs> no, he was there covered in hair. Yeah. yeah, but naked, but covered in hair. So it was decent. It was. It was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they, they, that was a weird thing. They thought it was a monkey in the shop. And then <laughs> so went, presumably he had a big long beard as well, because he couldn't shave, could he? No, no, he just covered. He looked like a monkey. And they were happy to serve the monkey, <laughs> were they? There's a monkey. He's How did he walk? How did he milk. walk? How did he walk, Carl? Did he walk start upright or? Whistling along. The, just pi to the picture that I saw on the internet, he was on all fours, but I don't know was. if that's when he was running was. away after he did, did sort of, you know, realised he was a kid. But this was a picture. So he was a kid as well. He wasn't even like an adult with the beard. No, he was a kid. Brilliant, brilliant. And the the people beard went, kicked in a little bit. So earlier. listen, so the Go people on. caught him. You're an idiot. The people caught him. Yeah. Shaved him. 
Right. Got it all off. Didn't grow back again. Right. It just, it You're grew. an idiot. Well, like I say, people will have heard this story or read about it. You're an idiot. And they'll email in. They don't let me down. And they'll agree that you're an and idiot. The, no, no, they'll, they'll have seen the story. You're an idiot. So that's a little bit of science. <laughs> you're an idiot. Did you see the style of kids in the riot? I cherish you, my love. Libertines, time for heroes and XFM 104.9. Right, okay, so have you got anything that is science as opposed to nonsense? Well, um... Kid went off with some monkeys, grew hair, yeah. came back, shaved him, it didn't grow back. I mean, just think. Right, something else. Um, there's a few things I found. Yeah. Um, there's a fella... Oh, God. Uh, who had hiccups for 69 years. <laughs> that was a bit annoying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. there's a dog with a wig that we've discussed. <laughs> uh... Imagine if you just tuned in. <laughs> yeah. There's the dog with the wig that we've already discussed. Uh, did we discuss that? that? Not really. Did I not tell you what he said? I did, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what else have we got? Well, there's something here that you sort of know. Is this going out live? Yeah, no, this is happening. Right? right, go on. But remember when you talked about, um, sponges? Yeah. If you get a red sponge and a blue sponge. You liquidise them, pour them back into a tank after a few hours that they know which was which and they, they reform as a red sponge and a, and a blue sponge. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that was weird when you told me. Yeah. Looked it up, did a bit of research. Yeah. Thought that's sort of science -y. Yeah. Um, you can do the same thing with a mouse's brain. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Explain a bit more. No, you can't. Uh, if, if you get a dead mouse, yep. um, put its brain into a blender, you know, blend it up, um, leave it standing for a bit. Making that up, aren't you? You get, you're confusing this, you watch Nigella Lawson make some sort of pudding. No, <laughs> What no. do you mean? What, do you, wait, it, it, wait, it won't work with the brain. Well, it, it does with a, I mean, not, not human brain. Don't be trying although, that. But, although... No, a mouse, a mouse one. <laughs> a mouse one. And what happens? It sort of reforms. Goes back together again. No, it's, it's you know. Because apparently it's made up of the same stuff as... But it doesn't, does it? Because if it's dead... If it's a if it's a dead brain, the cells can't act anyway. The fact of the sponge is that it doesn't kill the cells; it liquidises them. It doesn't kill the cells, yeah. so it couldn't be a dead brain anyway. It would have to be a live brain taken out from a live mouse for the cells to be getting oxygen and working and and being sensitive to each other. And that uh, I, I don't see how that could work like it does in sponges. Mm. <laughs> I mean, I'm not. I, do you know what I mean? You're not a scientist. I, I've sure. just sort of read it and yeah. gone, oh, that's, that's interesting, I'll tell Ricky and Steve about it. Yeah, yeah. You're quizzing me as it. if I've come up with it. No. Someone else has done it and said yeah. it works. Mm. Sure. So I'm not- do you, think, I'm not... do you think ghosts are behind it or do you think there's a scientific explanation for it? No, it's just, uh, it's just one of them weird things, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So that's, uh, that's what you sort of signs covered yeah. for this yeah. one. Well, that was another barnstorming feature for Paul Pilkington. <laughs> <laughs> is that it? Is that the two things you got Thanks this week? Thanks very much for that. Well, that yeah, yeah, that, I mean, there's... They're, they're there's the nothing that, behind them, do you know what I mean by this? There's not a, there's not like a weight of intellect behind these facts. Why it's don't you make that your science project for this week? Find a dead mouse somewhere, Carl, and a blender, <laughs> and we'll bring that in next week, we'll do it live on air, see what happens. <laughs> oh. Well. Do you feel sort of let down a little bit sometimes with our reactions? Well, what I, are you expecting us to do? What, are you expecting us to just like look at you, open mouthed, staring at you in awe? Just like, oh, God, yeah, where did you find that out? And, like, yeah, but you we know, we you know, tell us. we know where you found it out. You looked on the internet and a strange homemade website by a maniac somewhere, uh, who puts on stupid things that he heard through Chinese whispers. It's, that's where you get your information from. I, I doubt that anything you've ever come up with is, is verified. If it is, it's luck. But what, what do you expect me to <laughs> do for you. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm just... You know, I'd like to know what the source of the information is. I'd like it to be, you know, a research study by the University of Columbia, rather than, you know, a guy who calls himself Mr. Pickles. <laughs> <laughs> on a website somewhere, <laughs> www.lunatics.com. <laughs> I mean, oh god. <laughs> Something, some kind of evidence, do you know what I mean? I'll go, I must warn you now, you know that Steven Spielberg thing's coming, Taken, yeah? About alien abduction. When you watch it, just remember this, it's not a documentary, okay? 
All right. And All right. You remember our ET? We were yeah. discussing that earlier. You know that's not fact. <laughs> so that's all fact. Brilliant. Black Star Radiohead from the Benz on XFM 104.9. Rick John has emailed in. Yes. It looks here like he's may be trawled the web himself. I mean, I don't know if people just immediately leap onto the web every time Carl says something in, 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 in his defence. I think our listeners are always on the web. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, he seems like he's reprinted here a news story, which seems to confirm Carl's monkey boy story. Yeah, what was the news Doctors story? Doctors baffled by boy six covered in ape-like hair. Doctors in Kazakhstan are baffled after finding a six-year-old boy covered in ape-like hair. Yeah. The boy, called Able, was found in a remote mountain village close to the Chinese border. He's covered in thick hair from head to toe and has an oval-shaped skull. Doctors suspect nuclear radiation or a genetic disorder may be responsible. Fine. Um, but it's an interesting bit But here. they- sorry, it's not that you could have genetic defects. I've seen lots of people born with, um, long noses, five feet, etc. I'm saying You've that he wasn't Bristol, normal. <laughs> he, he wasn't normal and then went to live with, um, monkeys and grew the hair. Well, that's, that's my true. point. But it says his mother and father are distant relatives. Such marriage are common in the Kazakhstan mountain hamlets. Now, uh, the village elders were consulted as to what to do with him, right? Now, these are the village elders. These are the, these are the wise men of the village. These are the people, presumably, that all year long are telling the, the village how to live, how to survive. Yeah, you're in charge because you've lived longest. You're, yeah, exactly. You're presumably are solving any kind of moral conundrums, yeah. any sort of awkward things. Do you know what they suggested that they do with their hairy son? Go on. Send him to the circus. <laughs> <laughs> the girl's not in. Put him in the circus. <laughs> <laughs> that was what they suggested, and uh, the mother actually wanted him to go to school. Um, Instead of that, I don't know, school circus. or circus, I don't know. <laughs> we don't know what's better for him. <laughs> exactly. I'm not sure. <laughs> we must consult the elders. What do you think, Carl? Uh, it's not a bad life, is it? <laughs> what, the circus? Yeah. Well, you Kids ran away from it. it. Yeah. Love it. But remember that thing that I saw about that fella who, uh, <laughs> I don't know if you should talk about it really, it's a bit. Go on. Tell us now. You've hooked me. Come on. You can say it. It's okay. What, are you worried that it might be insulting to someone? Well, it's not- it's not nice, but- it, Well, you're you not taking the mickey out of it, you're telling us- go on. It's just- it was in that book again that you got me. You know, the book full of weird people. Go and, on. And things that are wrong with them, and airy people, and- Yeah. Lad with three legs and that. There's a fella, mm. um, basically just a head, and a, and a little body, on a skateboard. <laughs> yeah. Right? Picture of him having a shave. And he was shaving with his- with his mouth bit, like uh, that. With his tongue? Like that, on the radio. Yeah. Just like Carl oh, is now doing an impression of a man shaving with his mouth. Yeah. Well, it's just a head, bear in mind. He's doing an impression- imagine a head <laughs> with a very tiny body on a skateboard shaving with its tongue. That's what Carl was doing. Oh, uh, and he was depressed because he kept getting hats for Christmas. <laughs> but- but- but if you were him, you would just grow a beard, wouldn't you, rather than- <laughs> <laughs> oh, Why? Well, rather than go through all but that hassle. But you the wheels of your skateboard. True. <laughs> <laughs> Clash. Rock the Casbah on XFM 104.9. Nearly it. Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pumpton. So the answers to this week's Rockbusters. Yeah, yeah. Can you give us the clues uh, again in the answers? Yeah. Uh, the first one was, um... Don't argue with him, he ain't gonna change his mind. The initials there were AA. That's adamant. Adamant. Yeah. Alright? That's, good. That's, that's good. a good one. Uh, second one, he always gets what he wants and doesn't worry about anyone else. Uh, that was P. Uh, that was Pixies. Right? <laughs> Picks his. Picks his, it kind of works, yeah. <laughs> and the uh, third one. Alright, I'll, oh, well, I'll to, let uh, you have that one. I'll have, to, uh, I'll have to put that woman in an oven. That was AB, that was Anita Baker. <laughs> I need to wake her. <laughs> it's good. I need to wake her. I need yeah, to I'll let you have all three today. So, uh, You've done well. So, do you want to pick a winner, Steve? Well done to Mark Ledder from Bo. He wins those fairly mediocre prizes. <laughs> 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 Enjoy them. Oh, it. brilliant. Oh, well, we've had a few laughs. A few we've had a few laughs, a few tears, a few scientific breakthroughs. <laughs> exactly. Um, Gotta get a picture of Carl somewhere in the national press, just his little round head there. Add an email here. Carl is trying to distract attention from the fact that he is a monkey raised among humans and horses and has failed to develop hair. It's- uh, I can just imagine him yeah. being the second cleverest in a troop of monkeys. <laughs> you know what I mean? Second cleverest. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So, uh, it- 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 fleas out of their hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at his little face. I'll tell you what. Pete, I'm gonna get you- I'm gonna get a picture of you. Just put it in the radio section of Pete. Just- this is what Carl looks like. 
Oh, another email. Someone said, um, when the monkey boy went to the shops, he was naked. Where did he keep his money? <laughs> Good point. It didn't happen then. Right. Well. <laughs> 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 oh. So that's that. We didn't even do all, all uh... What do you we mean? Didn't get, we didn't get round to ritual. Oh, come on, give no, us ritual. We, haven't, we, haven't really we have, quickly, quickly! No, it's... We have got time, just do it! Why haven't we got time? It's ten two. Right, well, we've got a long track to finish on. Well, just do it. It's... Do are it! You, are you familiar with the place called, uh... <laughs> Go on. Easter Island? Yes. yes. Yeah. Do you know what they do out there? Uh, eat eggs. Right. I don't know. Well, Go that's on. close. Go on. Right. What they do, right, there's, uh, there's a lot of people living on an island. Yeah. Easter Island? And <laughs> to find out who's gonna be running the place, <laughs> they, um... They don't they, hold elections, do they? They have these, well, they have these birds that lay, like, expensive eggs on a, on an island. Expensive eggs! Yeah. They lay expensive eggs. Fabergé eggs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go on. On this island. Yeah. Uh, Easter once Island? A year, once a year. No, off, off it, like, about, oh, yeah. about two miles out. Right? Oh, yeah. And Whitson Island.